Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. I am the diva behind Diva and the Divine and I'm so glad you clicked on this video today. Today is Monday, but it's not just any Monday. No, no, because my husband and I both neglected intentionally, 100% intentionally, for the sake of rest and relaxation, we neglected our weekend chores, which means today is not just Monday. It is Housewife Monday. What is Housewife Monday? Housewife Monday means that I take off the YouTuber, sit in the office, coach hat, unless my clients need me, of course, but I put on the housewife hat. And today, the only thing that I need to do is housewife related tasks. And we have a lot of them that we need to work on today. We have house cleaning. And the order of operations for house cleaning is as follows. First, we tidy up all the clutter. Then we are going to clean the bathrooms, dust the surfaces, and vacuum the floors. It is going to be a big day of that. Then we also have to go grocery shopping, which is what I'm about to do now. I only need a handful of things, so it's not going to be a big deal. So I'm going first thing in the morning. First thing. It's 20 to 10 at this point. But I'm going to first thing this morning, get it done, and get all of our food prepped and ready for the week ahead. And then I have to create the food that I need to prep. We are having the egg bake biscuits and gravy casserole from the skinny-ish dish. Obviously not today, Monday, because I haven't made it yet, but I'm going to prep it so it can get done tomorrow. And then we're having turkey, if, if the grocery store has what I need. We're going to have turkey and roasted potatoes, purple potatoes from my CSA box that I picked up on Friday with some green beans for vegetables. And we're having tuna salad for lunch this week. So I have to go and acquire all of the things that I need for that and then prep produce and whatever else we have laying around the house that needs to get done. The dishwasher needs to be emptied, reloaded, kitchen needs to be cleaned, laundry needs to be done. We've got a lot to do. Let's get going. First things first, a quick jaunt down to the mailbox to put these in because my family members have not one but two birthdays this week. So one is for my aunt and one is for grandpa's girlfriend, Marilyn. Y'all, that was the most self-controlled target run I have ever pulled off in my entire life. I only purchased what was on my very, very short list. Let me show you what I got. This is it, y'all. This is it. This is all I purchased. So yes, this seems excessive, but this is 10 cans of tuna. Um, one for every day of the work week for both my husband and I. We got the sustainably sustainably caught we got the sustainably caught solid white albacore tuna in water. This particular can, and I'm not really sure what all the difference is, but in this can it's 130 calories. But if you can see, check out that protein content over there. 33 grams of protein per can. So this is a heavy hitting protein lunch for both my husband and I. So that's why we got that. And we're going to mix it with some mayo and relish and whatever the heck else we want in our, um, in our tuna salad. And then he is going to put his on this toast, the brown berry 12 multigrain toast. I can't words today, you guys. I can't words today. Um, and I'm going to actually put it in. I used a wild grain. I cooked up a wild grain loaf yesterday. That's the everything bagel sourdough. So that's what I'm going to be putting my tuna on. And then we got for tonight's dinner, for this week's dinner, we got turkey breast tenderloins. I've never purchased this before. Actually, I purchased a turkey breast tenderloin that was pre-marinated at Aldi, but I've never gotten just plain in turkey breast tenderloin. But since we just finished up chicken, we didn't want to do chicken, but we didn't want to go anything too fatty this week. We wanted to stay pretty lean. So we went with turkey. So I'm just going to season these up. And then when I cook them this evening, you know what? I'll just show you how I cook them this evening. Alongside that, we're going to roast some green beans for vegetables. We got some carrots for my husband to eat during lunch. And then the only fun thing that I purchased was actually something I needed. I got a new primer because I literally used the last of my primer today. I could not get any more out of my um, bottle. So I was like, well, guess it's time to get a fresh primer. And because my Target has an Ulta in it, I got it there. So that was my Target run. Quick and easy. All right, the first meal prep that's happening is the skinny-ish dish biscuits and gravy bake. It is one of my favorite breakfasts of all time. So stinking good. And the best part is with the stuff that I purchased, the amount of ingredients I purchased, you actually end up making enough for two. So I make one and then I have half of this left 
four other biscuits and half of the turkey sausage and I just keep that all prepped and ready in the fridge so I can throw another one of those together really really quickly when we run out. It's beautiful. Look at that. All right, my casserole is made. My purple potatoes from my CSA box have been chopped. Those are going to get roasted tonight to have with the turkey. We're also going to have this corn. I think I'm going to grill, and by grill I mean use the air fryer grill. I use the air fry feature to cook our first round of this sweet corn, and my husband didn't love it. So we're gonna try grilling it before we spend all of the gas energy boiling a giant pot of water and boiling the corn. So tonight we're probably gonna grill on my Ninja Foodie two of these ears, and then I will cook the other two a different way tomorrow. I also got some um, cucumbers in my CSA box and these peppers in my CSA box. So all of the produce is done, the breakfast casserole is done, and it is significantly <laughs> later now, but I am going to take a quick break and then it is time to start cleaning. Someone has been having major anxiety lately. Major anxiety. Do you wanna come up here? Come on. Come up here then. Gracie, come. Come on. Come on. He'll be back soon. Last week, my husband was downtown at a business conference for three days? Three days. Um, and she did not handle daddy being gone very well. And now daddy is at the dentist. Nothing crazy, just, you know, a regular, you know, he'll be gone for an hour or so appointment. And all she's doing is shaking and panicking. I mean, I know you're a daddy's girl, but this is ridiculous. So never in my life would I have considered myself to be a, here, let me give you game recommendation type people. But I just downloaded this. You see this app with this girl's face? It's called Wild Flowers, W-I-L-D-E, F-L, oh, here we go. It is an Apple Arcade game called Wild Flowers. And yes, you need the Apple Arcade subscription to get it. Um, and we currently have a free trial of the Apple Arcade subscription for like four months. So I decided to see what was on the iPad. And this game is such a cozy game. You're this girl who's coming to take over grandma's farm, but it turns out grandma is in a coven of witches. So like, not only are you growing crops and cutting down wood and helping the small town, like, look, here's my little garden. I got corn, or no, that's sugar cane and strawberries. I have a beehive here, but the bees are mad at me because I have no flowers currently. I have tomatoes and corn, and this is my compost pile, and I have to water things every day. And so I have like a full on functioning thing and then I had to collect all the wood and everything I needed for a farm. But look, dude got me a chicken coop. He built me a chicken coop and here, where's my chicken? Oh, there she is. You see her? You see my chicken? There's one chicken. And then behind these trees here is my little, my little cheap, cheap, my little baby chick, my little baby chick who I haven't, who I already fed today. So I don't need to feed her. And so there's this whole like farming and just living element and then she's also a witch so you're, she's learning how to like brew potions and stuff that will help things grow better and so you go down in the basement and she's got her own little cauldron and she's got a little desk to write her incantations and a distillery oh i forgot i had something in my distillery i've been having so much fun with this game you guys it is so much fun and because it's on apple arcade there's no ads there's no nothing so i'm just it's like you purchased the video game i'm Having so, I, I spent so much time this past weekend playing this game. It's absolutely absurd, but I'm loving it. And so I feel like it it fits in the uh, cozy gamer type um, game, and I'm just having so much fun. Today was an epic mail day, y'all. Epic mail day. Three different packages. No, technically four different packages because these two came separately. But let me show you what I got in my mail today. Um, first, I got the king, or I guess queen, of the Soul CBD lineup, and that is the 1500 milligram CBD oil. This stuff is my favorite. I love it. It is pricey, but it is so good, and a few drops go a really, really long way. So I got two bottles of this. This here ends the restock that I've been going through. I'm all set. I won't need some soul products for quite some time. And then I was wildly confused when a package from Turtle River Soap Company showed up. I was very confused because I was like, I, I don't remember ordering anything soap related. What the heck? Turns out my mother-in-law sent it to me because she knows I love fall and the soap company had a hints of autumn soap. My entire mailbox, I kid you not, my entire mailbox, 
stunk of this soap, like in the best way possible. It smells really, really good. It smells like fall. But I opened my mailbox and I was like, what is happening? Um, so it came with this. This is what she ordered me. And then they also send out little soap samples. No worries. And seize the day. Seize because it's a Florida-based company. So that was a really, really pleasant surprise to find in my mailbox. And then this was another really pleasant surprise. This is a jewelry set that was sent to me from Mint Mongoose. Mint Mongoose is a small business jewelry company, woman owned by one mama and her best friend actually, I guess, is part of her business and reached out to me and said, hey, we would love to send you a few months worth of our jewelry if you'll share about it. And since I love supporting women owned businesses, I was absolutely happy to do that. So my first one came today and I'm so excited. So Mint Mongoose is actually a subscription and um, she custom makes the jewelry every single month. One thing I really, really loved about this is you can, and I don't know if you can see in the picture here, but you can actually, when you sign up for a subscription, you can choose your metal preference, which is amazing because one of my biggest things is like, especially with like a jewelry subscription is what if you get a bunch of gold and like me, I don't really wear gold. I always wear silver. So with this, I could guarantee that every piece of jewelry I get is silver jewelry, which is so awesome. I was so, so, so appreciative of that. And, uh, but the, so you can see here, the jewelry idea, the turquoise, um, turquoise, is that what this is called? Turquoise? Um, is the same, but the metals are just different based on your preference. And so she sent, there's a little picture of her kids there. And then I wanted to just show you the thought that went into this. I read the card and she tells you about the inspiration behind the set for this month. And she says, you know, over the years, I find that I vacillate between being caught in life, chugging along and stepping back, usually into nature and living. When I'm going through the motions of life, time passes quickly and moments can slip by unappreciated. When I take a moment to breathe and focus on the simple things in life, like the kiddos building a rock bridge across a creek in one of our recent adventures to explore the other side, photo on the reverse side of the postcard, there's the photo. Moments stand out and time slowed down. The stone in this set is a tribute to my little ones for the love of those rocks and making that bridge that remind me to keep life simple and slow. The variations in the chain from smooth, representing the time that slips through our fingers as we go through the motions, to granular, representing the slower living where, we, where moments hold more weight. Look at that. So look, it's got the smooth versus the granular. There's little bumps, then there's smooth bars. So like... A whole lot of thought goes into the composition of this piece of jewelry, which I think is really, really great. Um, wishing you a healthy balance of doing and living life. Love, Helena. And Helena is the owner um, of the company. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's so, it's so beautiful. Like it's heavy. It's heavy duty jewelry. It feels very, very high quality. I'm very excited that it is in silver. So I will be able to wear it and incorporate it into my routine. Um, we, along with it, you can tell that it is a small business because of just how thoughtfully everything was packaged. Every piece of jewelry, the set was bubble wrapped separately and then in a little bag and then the packaging, I got rid of most of it. It took me forever to unwrap it. Like everything had this little label on it with this little like pin thumbtack thing. I can't even, and then there's a Mint Mongoose branded jewelry cleaning cloth. And then it's got this card in it with some information on jewelry care. And then it has this card in it, which is a roadmap to your subscription, which I thought is really cool. And you get different gifts unlocking after X number of months in your subscription. And then a thank you card. Yay, it's here with all of her stuff in it. And it's just such a well thought out package that showed up in my mailbox and it was in a shiny blue mailer too which was just super super fun so if you are interested in checking out mint mongoose i have really really good news for you i have a code for 50 percent off half off of your first month your first set of jewelry so if you use code diva 50 when you check out you will in fact get half off so that's that's mint mongoos. I'm really, really excited to wear these. I'll make sure to take a picture when I decide to incorporate these into one of my outfits.
All right, friends, so you get a little bit on the flip side as well. Today is now Tuesday, and yesterday was a very successful but wildly exhausting Housewife Monday. I got the bathrooms clean. I did the dusting. I did not vacuum. I did so much prep. Did I show you guys? I hope I showed you guys all of the produce. I cut up the cucumbers from the CSA box, the peppers from the CSA box. I made the breakfast casserole, which front loading takes a couple extra steps because you got to make the gravy and then you got to cook the sausage before you build the thing and then you actually cook the thing and then you add the cheese like it's a little bit of a process but going through that process now has the ingredients prepped for me to go through the process again but eliminate all of the pre-cooking stuff except for the gravy still have to make the gravy but the gravy is really easy peasy so i did that and then what else i made sure that at our Target run, we have everything we need for tuna salad for lunches this week. And then I cooked a delicious, and I know I forgot to film this, but I, co I cooked dinner and we had turkey breast tenderloins, which was super, super delicious and juicy that I just seasoned with some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and uh, the Trader Joe's onion salt seasoning. And so I cooked that in the pan and then put it in the oven. And then I had, I roasted a whole giant tray of purple potatoes because purple potatoes are what was in my CSA box this late this past week so purple potatoes and turkey and then we had air fryer grilled so we used the grill feature on the ninja foodie corn on the cob uh, organic csa sweet corn and um green beans roasted green beans oh my gosh it was so delicious and so healthy and so good but i was wiped after all of that was said and done. It was a day. And so to chill out at the end of the day, my husband and I, we have finished Big Bang Theory. We finished Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory watching people. If you finished it, let me know in the comments, what did you think of the ending? I'm very, very curious. What did you think of the ending? The last few episodes, the way the final episode ended, I would love to hear your thoughts because we definitely had some thoughts as well. But now we actually went and purchased the entire series of The Office on DVD because it was on sale at Target not too long ago. So we are picking The Office back up and we are in the middle of season six, I believe, of The Office. So we've been going upstairs and watching a few episodes a night of that and that's how I ended my Monday. Today is kind of work day day. I haven't actually been filming anything. Tuesday has traditionally been lawn care people day so I don't really get the opportunity to film like consistently because I don't know when they're going to be here and nine times out of ten when I sit down to film they show up and start making noise and I can't film anymore. So typically if I see the lawn people show up I don't even bother that day. So I took my time this morning. I got up. I'm this close to Aunt Flo showing up so like my aunt, I'm in this weird space where like I'm actually still pretty energized but I'm real chill. I'm a real chill. Like, don't, I, I am capable of doing the things, but I don't have like the energy, the drive to go do it. But like, I'm real low key, not stressed, not moody, not any of those things, just really bizarrely chill for where I'm at in my cycle. Other than feeling really bloated, like, nothing's crazy. I'm a little bit hungrier than normal, but other than that, nothing insane is happening, which feels really, really good. So I had an easy start to my day. I did some work up here. Um, and I, you know, got things ready for my group coaching call tonight because we have weekly group coaching calls. I celebrated. I went and reached out and messaged one of the members because she got into Wonderland and she responded to me saying, I haven't seen that number in so long. You guys, she's halfway through the six weeks program and she just Boom, Wonderland. Like, how freaking amazing is that? I'm so, I'm loving seeing the progress of my mindset and macros clients. It's just been so much fun for me. So I've just been doing some of that stuff. I'm prepped for that call tonight. And now I'm actually making a list. You can't see what this says. All it says is it's got numbers on it. Um, one through 31, because your girl is going to make a mad attempt to do Vlogtober this year. But... It's not gonna be a vlog every day. It's gonna be a video every day. And given that today is the 13th of September, if I start filming content for Vlogtober now, that shouldn't be too hard. So what I'm trying to do is figure out exactly what 31 videos go on this sheet. So if you have any suggestions, what kind of Vlogtober content do you want to see? Things that will for sure be happening. Uh, power sheets launch as long as everything goes 
as it needs to go in terms of shipping and launch dates for the affiliates, um, other goal planning launches, what else is going to happen. I'm definitely going to be doing some daily vlogs. Um, so that's going to happen. They're just not going to be posted every day. So don't worry. The daily vlogs will be in there. Um, I'm thinking some like fall cozy food content roundups, things like that. But what other October vlogtober type of things would you like to see? Because I got 31 titles that I need to write down. So any and all suggestions are welcome, please and thank you. But that's really, that's all that's happening. Oh, oh, I want to show you guys because why the heck not? Yesterday I had a nice big mail day clip. My um, Erin Condren fall seasonal surprise box came. So let me show you what I got in that. All right, so first of all, the box is gorgeous. I mean, can we just fall, fall you guys? It's just my favorite. And so, I open it up and this is what's inside, right? Um, one thing worth noting, there's a zipper pouch quality issue. So I don't think my zipper pouch will actually be in here if they pulled it out. Um, and another thing worth noting, does this perforate too? It does, yes, love that. Okay, so I actually paid for the add-on because they had an add-on this season, what? So I have so much credit in my account that I of course paid for the add-on and it is a daily balance journal and first of all I'm just obsessed with this cover it's beautiful teal with the gold words with the gold foil foliage and when you find balance you find peace but what I like about this the thing you saw me just check for was if this is removable because oh my gosh where's my planner y'all where's my oh here it is because it's the same size as my daily duo I have the a5 daily duo and by the way this cover was also in the seasonal surprise box when I opened the box I dug this out and put it on because I don't want to I don't want to be late and putting my fall covers on so this cover was actually part of the seasonal surprise box but that means that if I want to I could remove this cover and slap it on my planner as well which is kind of cool but the inside of this planner it's a daily balance planner so you have like these check-in pages and then the daily pages look like this it's part it's completely blank you completely you know daily pages for you to do with what you will but it's got like check mark pages and then a blank section and then like this little this little uh square section i'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to use it but it has a lot of potential so there's that. Then we get into what was actually in the box without the add-on, starting with a sticky notepad. And here's your CMT portion of this vlog where Brianna can't open things because her hands don't work. Come on. Fun fact about me and CMT, I destroy brutally and completely ravage any packaging that I've ever had to open in my life. Anything. Um, this sticky pad is today's top to do's and today's self care. Oh, that's cute. And it's got like this little, this little uh, gold foil detail and it's a little sticky, sticky note thing. That's really cute actually. I'll have to leave that there so I use it. Then we have these gold metal asterisk binder clip duo. Okay. More opening, more opening. All right, let's, they're very cute, but are they easy to use? That is the question. Let's see. Hey, I can't squeeze this way. Look, this is me trying to squeeze the thing, but I can use this and make it happen. All right, cool. Next we have Mid-Century Circles Fine Tip Pen Duo. So the pens appear to be this sage green and this teal color. Let's see if they actually are that color. Nope, it's black. <laughs> Let's see, what about this one? Probably also black. They are black fine tip pens. So there you go. Black, you can't see that. They're black, but the color is very, like the, the color of the pen is actually really nice and they appear to write pretty nicely as well. Now we have our fall sticker sheet. Ooh. And then I believe this is the last thing in the box. Okay. We have a box. Oh, how lovely. Look at this. It's a fall mug 
pink and it says change is beautiful with the gold detail. Oh my gosh, I love this. How beautiful is that? Dishwasher safe. Interesting, but you do not microwave it because of the metallic. That is so cute. I can't handle how cute that was. So there we go. That was my fall seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren. All right, so that being said, that is where I'm going to end this vlog today. I know it was a little bit doist and do words. Brianna, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a real quick something. So you know that cycle th sinking thing that I am into and then sometimes I'm more into than other times I'm into it and all of that um, by with the book Woman Code by Alicia Beattie and In the Flow same, under the same author. Um, love that stuff. Love that stuff. And while I kind of sort of go on and off the wagon with the food preferences for where you are in your cycle and the exercise recommendations, there is one thing that I believe with 110% of my being is valid and true and definitely affecting me with all of the cycle syncing stuff. And that is the productivity and the mental things that cycle syncing teaches you. Oh my gosh. And right before your period, you are much less able to communicate. Your brain is just not quite functioning as well as it was, say, 10 to 14 days ago, right around ovulation. Um, and oh my gosh, is that real? Oh my gosh, I try to avoid, and I'm so bad at it because I can't seem to get my act together enough to plan ahead for my content, but what I really need to start doing is planning a majority of my filming that's not like day in the life vlogs for around the end of my follicular phase and my ovulatory phase and beginning of my luteal phase. Why? Because I'm much more likely to be able to communicate communicate clearly then than I am, say, oh, now when Aunt Flo could be knocking on my door any, any day, any time. And it is very evident by how often I trip and stumble over my words and my, like, just my thought goes whoop. And just, it's very strange because like I said, I'm in this very like chill mindset and the, the productivity side of things during your period is supposed to be like very reflective. It's a great time to, you know, set some goals, reflect on what's working, what's not, and all of this like very reflective and chill stuff, which is great. But communication, the ability to speak and have coherent sentences come out of your mouth, Mm, mm No. And you know what? It's true. It, it's so true. And the more months I go through and I'm like, oh, I filmed these videos during my ovulatory phase and I filmed these videos or tried to film this during, right, during my period, the amount of editing that I have to do when I'm filming around my period versus when I'm not, when I'm filming during my ovulatory phase, massively different. There is so much less I have to cut out because I... Don't stumble over my words when it's that time in my cycle. I just, all the thoughts come clearly and I'm communicating and it's great. And then times like now, I can't say simple sentences to you guys. This isn't even a scripted video and I still can't get words out right. So cycle syncing, it's legit y'all. It's legit. Anyway, on that note, I know this was a disjointed vlog, but we're gonna take it as what it is and see what happens when I edit it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't joined the Diva and Divine community, we'd love to have you hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload something new and get your hearts ready. I was gonna hold up my little thing that said for Vlogtober, but you know, it's buried under stuff and I just don't feel like digging it out just to have the thing. So. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.